When I got my cancer diagnosis, it felt like my entire future was taken away from me. When I learned that my diagnosis was pancreatic cancer, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that me, the person who traveled to 140 countries and did all these sports events, had cancer. It made no sense. My only understanding of pancreatic cancer was that it was a death sentence. So many people that I knew with this cancer uh, don't make it. They basically prepared us that I probably would have two weeks to live. The diagnosis from I think three doctors was all that I wouldn't have six months. We all cried when we saw the doctor and they told me that I had one year to live. The surgeon said I had three to six months. That started a fire in me that didn't die down. I was 100% just given a death sentence and I for one second did not believe I was dying. I was thinking, watch me. I was determined to find a team that saw me as an individual patient instead of as a statistic. When I was diagnosed, there was about a 6% chance of surviving to five years. It's now almost double that. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about pancreatic cancer in terms of those people that we can help. My recovery from pancreatic cancer has made me very committed to helping to make sure that others who are diagnosed have a better chance to survive than the statistics would indicate. It's okay to be frightened but seek information. Be your own advocate, don't be silent. It's not like the doctors are God, sometimes they do make mistakes. You can't worry about whether you're hurting someone's feelings because now you're asking for a second opinion. You have to do the best that you can for yourself. If you're diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, don't give up hope. So try to say, stay positive. But when you walk into a room and there's another five-year survivor there or a nine-year survivor, it's so reassuring and refreshing. I'm a three and a half year survivor of pancreatic cancer. And I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer almost five years ago. I happen to be a five year pancreatic cancer survivor. I am a five year pancreatic cancer survivor. I'm a five year stage four pancreatic cancer survivor. I'm a five and a half year pancreatic neuroendocrine cancer survivor. And I'm a six year pancreatic cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer eight years ago. I'm a nine year pancreatic cancer survivor. I'm a 11 year pancreatic cancer survivor. And I'm a 13 and a half year survivor of pancreatic cancer. And I'm a 14 year stage four pancreatic cancer survivor. You can win this fight because it's not the death sentence that it used to be. Pancreatic cancer has made me appreciate every day that I'm here on this earth. Now that I'm on the other side, I have a brand new future that's even better than I imagined possible. I think every person is a statistic of one. You are a statistic of one. You can beat the odds. You don't have to die just because you have pancreatic cancer. Look at me, and I'm old. I wake up every morning and I give Thanks that I still have one more day. Everybody who I talk to and when I tell them that uh, I have pancreatic cancer, I say, you still here, you know, you're a miracle. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Just truly grateful.